welcome Saturday morning slow flow. We're gonna start on your back today. So go ahead and come there. I'm just gonna turn the light on here so you guys can see a little better, hopefully. That works. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Take your first few moments just to allow yourself to arrive. I'm gonna get the music going. I'm gonna do that while you guys all center. If you're at home, you can't see me, right? Just listen. You're doing the same thing. You're laying down. You're closing your eyes. Getting your full focus to your breath. You don't have to control your breath here. Just notice your breath and observe. Your breath will get to control here in a second. Keep letting that breath take over. And it will get you to a place where there's nothing left in your mind but you and your breath. When you get there, that's your true quiet of the mind, right? And that's what we're trying to achieve in this class. It's a long process. It takes us the whole hour to get there. And now let your breath push out all of the distraction. Be fully focused. Got that full focus on your breath. Then add that element of control to your breath. You start to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Let your breath become longer, slower, deeper. So as you inhale, you're pulling that breath all the way down to your belly. all the way out. And in that way, you really can move just with one breath, one movement. Once you feel ready, right, we're going to start to move here. You're just going to bend into your knees. Put your feet on the ground. Keep your upper body down. Take your hands to your sides, palms face down. Right? So we're just going to do a little bridge flow at first. You're going to push into the four corners of your feet. Lift your hips up off the mat so come into bridge. As you lift your hips up, see if you can take your arms overhead and just reach your hands back behind you. Just get rid of the screen here. You don't have to add that if you can't, right? It doesn't feel good, but it probably does. Now as you exhale, you should let your hips float back down. Take your hands to your sides. So we're just going to keep flowing like that here for a few breaths. You inhale, lift up, lift your hips, take your arms overhead. Exhale, float the hips down, hands to sides. Do about three more times. Just lift the hips, sweep the hands back. Drop the hips, sweep the hands down. Lift up. Back down. Do it one more time. Lift it all up and drop it back down. As we drop back down here this last time, now you're going to bring your knees into your chest. Take your hands to the crease of your knees. Do a couple rock and rolls here, right? We're just going to rock down, hover your heels over the mat, and let yourself come back down. And just go back and forth here a couple times. And even that's fine now. Try to keep your shoulders and your head off the mat as you roll back down, warming up your core. And two more here. And eventually, we're all going to land in seated with our legs crossed. So we're in this easy sit position. You can put your more comfortable leg in front. We're not going to be here for a super long time. But we're just going to do a little twisting flow here, right? We just that bridge flow. Here I want you to take your hands, sweep them up to the sky, 
As you exhale, drop your right hand back behind you. Take your left hand outside your right knee. Look over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back to center. I'm doing mirroring right now the other way. It doesn't matter which way you go. As you exhale, drop your left hand back behind you. Take your right hand outside your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. Inhale, untwist. Exhale, twist the other way. So we're making it into a little flow anyway, right? doesn't matter which direction you're going. Just switch each time. Go back and forth, back and forth. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, into the twist. Do it a couple more times each direction. And eventually, next time you finish up twisting to the left, take your hands back up overhead. Right now, we're just going to drop our hands in front of you, in front of us, right? If you can, you're just going to roll over your knees and come into tabletop. If you need to unwind your legs first, do that. Land yourself in tabletop, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees, hands shoulder width distance apart, knees hip width distance apart. We're going to take a couple cat cows here, just get our body in breath, in sync. <coughs> so as you inhale, lift your chin up to the sky, tuck your tailbone under, let your belly drop, that's cow. As you exhale, tuck your chin to your chest, take the head out your back, lower out your armpits, that's cat. And just keep moving here. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Just like the other little flows we did, we're moving with our breath, setting our own rhythm, finding the rhythm of our breath, matching our movements to it. Eventually, we're going to meet back in neutral tabletop. Now, once we're in neutral tabletop, you're going to tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back, come in to your first down dog of the morning. <clears throat> now, here, you're pushing your belly back towards your upper thighs, letting your head drop between your shoulder blades. If you want to add some movement here, you can. You can walk your dog, you can sway your hips, whatever feels good. Right? Maybe what feels good is just staying still, and that's okay. Take the time to check in with your body. Notice what's going on. What feels good? Feel like you can really push forward today. What's not feeling good? Where do you need to hold back? Make sure you're listening to your body as we go through the rest of our practice. Now we're going to bend our knees here. Look between the thumbs. Bring your feet forward your hands. Come to forward fold. Now your belly's touching your upper thighs. Your head hanging heavy and long. Shake your head yes. Shake your head down. Make sure there's no creases in the back of your neck. Make sure you're bending your knees as much as you need to. All right? <clears throat> bending your knees as much as you need to to get your belly to your thighs. Now as we inhale, we're going to take a half lift into monkey. Pull your shoulders even with your hips. So now your back is flat and the crown of your head is pointed forward. We've got lots of monkeys to do today. It's going to work your back and it's going to reset us each time as we come up and down a lot. All right? As you exhale, come back down into your forward fold. This time as you inhale, you're going to take your reverse swan dive and come all the way up to standing. Let's go back here a little bit so you guys can see it. Now, as you exhale here, right, you're just going to take an open arm twist. You're going to sweep your right hand back, reach your left hand forward. Right, so we're twisting to the right. And then as you twist, drop your right hand down to your right thigh or your right glute. Take that left hand, reach it up and over your right shoulder. You're looking over your right shoulder, so you're spiraling to the right. And here's where we're going to change it up a little bit from what we usually do. You're going to take a swim, right? But you're going to swim yourself back down in forward fold. As you get to forward fold, you're going to take another half lift into monkey. You're going to fold back down, and you're going to swan dive back up. As we swan dive back up, now we twist the other way. Take that left hand, reach it back. Take that right hand, reach it forward. Drop your left hand, sweep the left hand up, look over your left shoulder. And then swim all the way back down into your forward fold. Take another half lift to monkey, fold back down, swan dive back up. This time as we swan dive up, you're dropping your arms into cactus arms. You're inhaling, opening up your chest, pull your shoulder blades together. Exhale, back bend, shift your hips forward, take your chest and raise up. When you inhale, stand tall, take your arms overhead. Exhale, swan dive down one more time. 
Now plant your hands on the mat. Step or float back to your plank. Right? So in your plank, your body's in one straight line. So crown of your head to your heels. Your shoulders are right over your wrists. Your hips are just below your shoulders. If you want to drop to your knees and do this, you can, right? Just keeping your body in a diagonal from your shoulder to your knees to keep engaged your core. We're going to go through our yogi push-up here, our chaturanga. So as you exhale, you're going to bend your elbows. Let them scrape right along your ribs. Everybody's going to come all the way down to the mat on this first one, right? So you've got your hands right by your chest, elbows pointed straight back behind you. As you inhale, we're going to lift up into baby pose. So your chest lifts up just slightly, feel that back engaged. And baby cobra, you should be able to lift your hands off the mat if you wanted to, right? You're using just your back strength to hold you up. Now, if you want to here, you can use some upper body strength and go into up dog. In up dog, you press your palms into the mat, straighten out your arms, pull your chest up and through, right? In a true up dog, the only things on the mat are the backs of your feet and your palms. So maybe your knees are down, maybe your thighs are down as you're looking towards it. If you want to stay in baby cobra, you can stay in baby cobra. Wherever you are here, you're going to slip your feet, lift your hips up and back, come back to down dog. All right? So that's our whole sun salutation. Like I said, a lot of up and down. It's going to strengthen our back. We're going to do it two more times now that you've seen it. We're going to move a little faster. We're going to move with our breath. So bend your knees here. Look between your thumbs. Bring your feet forward. Your hands come to forward fold. As you inhale, take that half lift monkey. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale, reverse swan dive. Come up to standing. Exhale, place that open arm twist to the right. Right hand back, left hand forward. Drop into the spiral. Drop your right hand. Reach that left hand up and over your right shoulder. You're going to swim it all the way back down to forward fold. Take a half lift to monkey. Every time you're in forward fold, you take that half lift. Come back down. Swan dive back up. Twist to the left. Take your left hand back. Right hand forward. Drop into your spiral. Left hand drops. Right hand pushes up and over. Swim it all the way back down to forward fold. Inhale. Half lift to monkey. Exhale. Fold. Inhale. Swan dive. Exhale, cactus arms. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, come up tall, reach your hands overhead. Exhale, swan dive it back down. Forward fold. This time we plant the hands, step or fold back to plank. As you exhale over through your chaturanga, bend your elbows, hug them to your ribs. Inhale, the baby cobra. We're all going to up dog. Exhale, shift. Down dog. All right, let's do that one more time through. Bend your knees, look between your thumbs, bring your feet forward, your hands come to forward fold. Inhale, half lift monkey. Exhale, fold. Inhale, over swan dive, come all the way up to standing. Exhale, twist to the right. Right hand back, left hand forward, go into your spiral. Swim it down to forward fold. Half lift monkey. Fold back down. Swan dive up. Open arm twist to the left, left hand back, right hand forward, drop it into your spiral, swim it down to forward fold. Half lift monkey, fold back down, swan down up, drop into your cactus arms here, open your chest, sink to your back bend, and bring it up tall. Exhale, swan down it back down one more time. Plant your hands, step or float back to plank. Exhale, through your shoulder on that. Inhale, baby cover up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, now from down dog, one more time, you're gonna bend the knees, look between your thumbs, bring your feet towards your hands, come to forward fold. Take that half lift, right? Pull your shoulders even with your hips. Fold back down. Now this time, as we inhale, we're gonna come into chair. So you're gonna bend your knees, send your hips back and down, peel that upper body up. See if you can reach your hands forward, right? Maybe they have to be at heart center. Maybe they're up to the sky. Like we're going to move our hands in a second. But take a breath here just to set your chair. Make sure you can look down and see your toes. Wiggle your toes. Your weight should be back in your heels. That's why you can wiggle your toes. Your hips are far enough back that your knees aren't covering your toes. Now, from this chair, just like we did in the sun salutation, you're going to take an open arm twist. Draw your right hand back. Reach your left hand forward. If you're still in chair, maybe that left knee is bumping a little bit in front of the right. That's okay, but don't over-exaggerate it. As we inhale, right, you're going to sweep both hands up overhead. You're going to stand up tall. See if you can lift your heels up off the mat and just come onto the balls of your feet. Ah. Now as you exhale, you're dropping your heels. You're coming back in a chair. And then we're going to take that open arm twist the other way. Keep your left hand up. Reach your right hand forward. Inhale, come up. Hands go overhead. Legs straighten. 
heels lift. Exhale, take it back down to chair. Take your open arm, twist to the right. Untwist, come all the way up on the balls of your feet. Drop it back down, come to the chair, and twist to the left. Untwist, come all the way up onto the balls of your feet. We're gonna do that one more time each way, right? Drop down into your chair, open arm, twist right. Rise up onto the balls of your feet. Drop it down, chair, twist to the left. Come up onto the balls of your feet. And then as you drop your heels down, this time you just swan dive all the way down and land in forward fold. Take another half lift monkey, fold back down, plant your hands, step or float back to plank. Exhale, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale to cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, now, the vert is down dog here. You're gonna take your right leg, lift it up to the sky. Now you're gonna bend into your right knee, put it towards the ground. And then come forward, you're gonna bring your shoulders over your wrist again, so it's like you're in a little plank, but you're curling the right knee into your chest. Tucking your chin, dragging your nose and your knee together, right? Maybe they'll touch, maybe you're not, obviously I'm not touching. Okay. Now take that right leg, send it back up to the sky, right? Now you're gonna bend into your right knee, open up your hip. So you're dropping your right heel towards your left glute, putting your right knee up to the sky. If you wanna flip it all the way, that's an option here, you let those right toes come down, Reach your right fingertips towards the back of the room. You don't have to unless you want to. Now if you flip, you're going to come back over, drop your right hand back down. Everybody's going to take their right leg straight up to the side. And you're going to step it all the way through between your hands. Come to runner's lunge. If it takes you an extra step or two to get there, that's okay. End up with your right knee over your right ankle, hands on either side of your right foot. Everybody's going to drop that left heel down to the mat. So your left toes point to the left. And we're going to rise up into warrior one. Square your hips towards the front of the room. Deep bend in that right knee. Send your pinky fingers in towards each other. Look back at them. And you reach in towards the back of the room. Now, we're gonna come all the way down here. Drop both hands to the inside of your right foot. Squeeze your right knee and your right shoulder together, right? You can't see it, because I've got my left hand here. That's what I'm doing. Squeeze my shoulder to my knee, my knee to my shoulder. If you wanna turn your left toes towards the front of the room for this part, you can. But eventually, we're all gonna drop that left heel again. You're gonna push both hands away from the mat. And you're gonna come up, you're gonna straighten your right leg, let your hips turn to the left. Take your hands up to the sky, grab that right wrist with your left hand, pull to the back of the room, come to sky archer. So the right toes are still pointed forward, left toes pointed towards the left side of the room. Come back up with your torso, right? Bring your palms together, pull them to heart center. Now from here, you're just gonna bend into your left knee. So go towards the back of the room, drop your left elbow to your left knee. So maybe you can take it deeper if you want to, letting those right toes lift and left heel lift, a little bit like this. You don't have to go this slow unless you want to, right? And then we're gonna come back around. You're gonna keep your right toes pointed forward, but take your skidasana to the front now, bend into your right knee, drop your right elbow towards your right knee. Again, you can take it low if you want to, or stay right here. Now, wherever you are, you're gonna turn your torso towards the mat. Everybody's gonna drop that left hand to the mat on the inside of your right foot. Take your right hand up to the sky. So you're twisting to the right. Shoulders are stacking, chest tilting to the right. You can let your left heel come up off the mat here if you want to. So you can keep vertically twist. If you need it down for stability, keep it down. Now drop that right hand down outside your right foot. We're just gonna flow here. Take your right foot, step it back. Meet the left. Exhale to your chaturanga. Inhale to cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, so we're gonna try all that on the left side. I'm gonna turn around here just so you can see. You guys stay where you are. Take your left leg, lift it up to the sky. Bend into your left knee so it points towards the ground. And then shift forward, shoulders over the wrist. Curl that left knee under your chest. Grip it into your chest. Inhale, take it back up to the sky. This time you're gonna bend into your left knee. Drop your left heel towards your left, towards your right glute. Point your left knee up to the sky. Maybe you stay right here. Maybe let that left foot come all the way over into your one, into your wild thing, into your flip dog. Maybe you just sit, right? You flipped. Come back over. Everybody's gonna step that left foot to the top of your mat. So you're coming to runner's lunge. 
Hands on either side of the left foot. Once you're there, you're going to drop your right heel, the mat to your right toes point to the right. You're going to push away from the mat with both hands and just rise up into warrior one. So we're squaring our hips towards the front of the room, taking your hands up to the sky. Next, you stand on your left knee. Bring your pinky fingers in towards each other. Look at your hands. Maybe the heels are pace so if you reach those fingertips back behind you. And then from there, you come all the way down. Drop both hands to the inside of your left foot. Squeeze your left knee and your left shoulder together. If you want to lift your right heel here, you can. Right? It's a little mini drag. Now everybody's going to drop that right heel. Push your hands away from that. Straighten that left leg. Come all the way up. Your hips go towards the right side of the room. Grab the left wrist with the right hand. Pull to the back of the room in your sky archer. Release your hands here. Right, you're going to keep your chest facing to the left. Pull your hands to heart center. Now we're going to take that skandasana with the right knee first. So towards the back of the room again, right? And then get your right knee. Right elbow towards the right knee or take it super low if you want. Push through that right foot. Keep your feet in the same position, but now bend into the left knee. And drop your left elbow towards your left knee with your chest still facing the right side of the room. Then you're going to turn your chest all the way towards the top of your mat. Drop your right hand on the inside of your left foot. Push your left hand up to the side with your twisted left. Stacking your shoulders opening your chest. I lifted my right heel here. You can if you want to, or just keep that right heel down. When you're ready, just let that left hand come down. Step your left foot back, meet your right. Take your flow here. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Exhale, down dog. All right, we're gonna do all of that again. Right, we're gonna go through the parts we've already been through a little bit faster, then we've got some stuff to add on. So bend your knees, look between your thumbs, bring your feet forward, your hands, come to forward fold. Take your half lift monkey. Shoulders even with the hips. Fold back down. Now as you fold back down, right, you're gonna peel up into chair as you inhale. Bend your knees, send your hips back and down, bring your hands forward. We're gonna do that little twisting flow again. If you start to go into that open arm twist to the right, right hand back, left hand forward. As you untwist, come up tall, lift off the balls of your, off the heels to the balls of your feet. Exhale, stick back down to chair. Twist the other way. Come up tall to extend the mountain. Lift the balls of your feet. Drop back down to chair. We'll do it two more times each way. To the right. And twist and come up. Come down to chair. Twist left. And then come all the way up. One more time. Drop into chair. We twist right, and twist and rise up. Drop into chair, twist the left, and twist and rise up. And from here, drop down to your heels, swan dive all the way down, into your forward fold, take a half lift to monkey, fold back down, plant your hands, step or float, back to plank. Exhale over through your chaturanga, inhale the cobra, up dog, exhale. Down dog. All right, take your right leg up to the sky. You're gonna bend your knee, curl it under your chest. Send it back up to the sky. Open your hip here, so right knee towards the sky, right heel towards the left glute. Flip if you want to flip or skip it. Come back around, straighten that right leg, send it up to the sky. Step it all the way through, come to runner's lunge. Drop your left heel and rise up, where one. Square your hips towards the front of the mat. Spin your pinky fingers in towards each other. Lean back if it feels good. And then dive all the way down. Both hands inside the right foot. Squeeze that right knee into the right shoulder. And then from there, you're going to push both hands away from that. Keep your left heel dropped. You're going to rise up, straighten your right leg. Take your arms up overhead. Grab a hold of your right wrist with your left hand. Pull towards the back of the room into your sky archer. Now release your hands from sky archer. Rise up. Pull all your hands to heart center. We're going to take those two, two skandasanas. First to the back, bend into your left knee, drop your left elbow towards your left knee. Push through the left foot, bring your right elbow towards your right knee. Turn your torso towards the top of your mat, drop your left hand on the inside of your right foot, take your right hand up to the side. Everybody's going to lift their left heel here. Eventually, here's what we're going to add on, right? You're going to drop your right hand down outside your right foot, drop down to your left knee. Flatten that left foot. 
Make sure your left knee is back behind your left hip. We're gonna rise up into the knee crescent, push your hands away from that, come up, right? And squeeze your other kneecap with that knee is behind the hip a little bit. Now from here, we're gonna come all the way down. You're gonna push your right leg straight. Let your right toe slip up off the mat. Drop your hands down on either side of your right leg. Raise your torso over your right leg. So you get that nice stretch in the right hamstring. The further you push that left hip back towards your left heel, the more you're gonna feel it. But don't sit down on your heel even if you could, right? Give a little bit of space there to feel the stretch. All right, now here's where it's gonna get a little tougher, right? We're gonna come back. You're gonna bend back into your right knee. Bring your hands on either side of your right foot. Tuck your left toes under, come up off your left knee. Now you're gonna step all the way forward. With your left foot, you're gonna keep a little bend in your right knee as you lift your torso. If you can, keep your left foot hovering, right? You gotta drop those left toes to the ground and drop them to the ground. Let me turn this way so you guys can see. So you're here, or you're here. You're gonna swing that left foot over the right. Right now you can hang out right here, right? With those little crisscross legs, balancing. Maybe if you have it in you, you can hook those left toes over the right ankle, or what most of you wanna do, you just drop those left toes to the ground. Let you let yourself get a little stability, but you're bending into your right knee at least a little bit, right? Take your arms out long. Now you're gonna cross them in front of you. As you cross them in front of you, bring your left arm underneath your right. You can grab opposite elbows here. You just be eagle arms like this, maybe. Your back to palm, back to palm. Maybe you're taking the full wrap, palm to palm. Wherever you are, lift your elbows up and away from your body. Look up. And then from there, bring your elbows back by your chest. Look straight ahead. Now you're going to keep your eagle arms here. You're going to unwind your left leg. Straight your right leg. Just step back with that left foot. You want both heels on the ground. Both legs straight. From there, you're going to dive forward, coming in kind of a modified pyramid with these eagle arms. Let your nose come toward your right knee. Keep that right leg straight. If you've got to shorten up your stance here, so you can keep both legs straight, then you do that, right? See how I did? I just brought my left foot way up by my right. Maybe you can take it further back and still keep everything straight. It depends on your body. All right, and unwind your arms here. Bend into your right knee. Your hands are on either side of your right foot. Turn those left toes towards the front of the room. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Take your flow here. Exhale from your chaturanga. Inhale to cobra up dog. Exhale shift. Down dog. We're gonna do that one more time on the left side. When you're ready, taking that left leg up to the sky. Bend into your knee, curl it under your chest. Take it back up to the sky, and then open up, you're dropping that left heel towards the right glute, left knee up to the sky. Maybe you're gonna flip it all the way over. Maybe you're just staying where you are. If you flipped, come back over, swing that left leg through, come to runner's lunge. I'm gonna turn to the other side so you guys can see me. Stay where you are, right? We're in this runner's lunge. You're gonna drop your right heel, turn your right toes towards the right side of the room. Push away from that with both hands. Just rise up into a warrior one here. Right square towards the top of the mat. Look up at your hands, scoot your pinky fingers towards each other. Lean back if it feels okay. And then come all the way down. Drop your hands down inside your left foot. Come to your dry hand. Squeeze your left knee and your left shoulder together just for a breath. Then you're pushing away from the mat with both hands. Straightening your left leg on the way up, letting your hips spin to the right. Grab your left wrist to your right hand. Pull towards the back of the room. Now from there, you're going to release your hands. Bring them to heart center. We're taking two skandasas. First step back, so you bend into that right knee. Drop your right elbow towards your right knee or take it super low if you like. Push through that right leg, straighten your right leg, bend into your left knee. Drop your left elbow towards your left knee. Turn your chest towards the top of your mat. Drop your left hand on the inside of your right foot. Take your right hand up to the sky in this person's lunge. I said that backwards, right? Right hand on the inside of the left foot. Left hand up to the sky. Now you're gonna let your left hand come down outside your left foot. Turn your right toes towards the front of the room if they're not already. Drop down to your right knee. Flatten your right foot. Make sure your right knee is back behind your right hip. Push away from that with your hands. Just rise up into your kneeling crescent. So you've got that left knee staying right over the left ankle. You're leaning back with your upper body here, pushing that lower body forward. So you've got that opening in your hip flexors. Then we come all the way down. You straighten out your left leg, let your left toes flip up off the mat. Drop 
Upper hands down on either side of your left leg. Pull over your torso over your left leg. Push your right hip back toward your heel, toward your right heel. Don't sit all the way down. All right, so here's where we gotta rise up, right? So you're putting your left toes back on the mat, bring your left knee back over your left ankle. You're gonna tuck your right toes under, move off your right knee. Okay, you're gonna rise up, keep a little bend in your left knee. Step forward with your right foot. Try to keep your right foot hovering as you rise up. You're gonna drop it down and drop it down. Once you're all the way up, you get that bend in the left knee still, swing your right leg across. And again, maybe you hang out right here, right? If this balance is good for you. Maybe if you're super flexible, you can get those right toes around the left ankle. Or maybe just dropping your right toes outside your left foot, planting out to give you a little more stability. Take your arms out long, bring your hands in front of you. This time, right elbow goes underneath the left. Then it could be elbow to elbow or shoulder to shoulder. It could be back to palm to back to palm. Take the full wrap, palm to palm. Wherever you are, lift your elbows up and away from your body. Bring them back down, look ahead. Now you're gonna unwrap your right leg, right? Straighten out both legs. Drop your right leg to the ground. You want both legs straight, both heels on the ground. Dive forward over that left thigh. Right? So we're in this twisted pyramid. It doesn't matter if your right toes are pointed totally to the right side of the room or totally forward. Right? The key here is to get both legs straight, both heels on the ground. If you need to shorten your stance to make that happen, shorten your stance. Take one more breath here, wherever you are, you want to feel it in your left hamstring. And then unwind your arms, spin back into that left knee. Bring your left ankle over your left knee. Step back with that right foot, come back in a runner's lunge. Left foot steps back to meet the right. And we take our last flow here. Exhale through your chaturanga. Inhale to cover up dog. Exhale, shift. Down dog. Now from your down dog, bend your knees, look between your thumbs. Bring your feet forward, your hands come to forward fold. Really like touching the upper thighs, head hanging heavy. Shake your head yes, shake your head no. Okay. This is like our 10th time in forward fold now. Okay. So hopefully it's feeling a little bit differently in your body than it did the first time we came to it today. From here, toggle your feet out wide to the edges of your mat. Turn your heels in and your toes out. Bend your knees and drop your hips. Come down into your Molossman squat. Now I'm in a basic Molossana here. If this feels comfortable to you, you can hang out here for the next 10 or so breaths, then do that, right? If it's not comfortable to you, don't stay here. If you have a block, you can sit down on it. If you don't have a block or it still doesn't feel comfortable with or without the block, then come all the way down to your glutes and bring the soles of your feet together. Come here to bound ankle. You're still getting that hip opening and you're comfortable, right? Those are the important things here. Let your focus come back to your breath. If you lost that focus on your breath, reassert it. Get it back there. They assert that control over your breath. If you lost it, get it back here. Slow your breaths again. Lengthen them again. Deepen them again. From here, we're all gonna come down to our glutes, all right? We're gonna bring it into hook line. We're gonna do a little core work here, right? It's pretty simple, not simple, it's not a simple movement, but it's a simple core work. We've done it before, but it's been a while. You're gonna come, start by coming into a deer position. So you're gonna drop your right shin parallel to the front of the mat. So you take your right foot over to the left edge of your mat, lean way over to the right so you can get that right hip and that right knee to come down. You're gonna take your left ankle Grab a hold of it, pull that left ankle back. So now you've got your left knee against the sole of your right foot. All right, when we're coming into deer and we're folding or we're twisting, and I tell you guys, you know, you don't have to keep that left knee against the left foot, you don't have to keep that left heel against the left glute. Here, I kind of want you to, right? Because it's the core work and we want to keep it all nice and tight. I want you to bring your hands to heart center. So we're going to try to do all this without our hands touching the ground, right? So you're going to lean over to the right. 
and then you're going to take your left foot, kick it straight in front of you. Right? Lean a little to the left so that your left hip's on the ground, and then pick your right foot up. So now you're here in a little boat. Now you're going to drop your left shin parallel to the mat, just like when we started, you've got to lean way to the left, so your left knee comes down, your left hip comes down. Swing that right leg around, put your right knee against the sole of your left foot. Sit up tall. All right, so we're going to do that back and forth a couple times. Now you lean to the left, kick your right foot forward, bring your left foot up, come into boat, drop that left shin parallel to the mat, or right shin, lean right, swing the left leg around. All right, lean to the right, kick the left foot forward, bring the right foot forward, boat, drop the left shin parallel to the mat, lean left, so you can swing that right leg around. We're gonna do it one more time each way, or yeah. Lean to the left, kick that right foot forward, bring that left foot around, drop your right shin parallel to the mat, lean to the right, come around, lean to this deer. One more time, we gotta get to the left. We lean to the right, kick the left foot forward, bring the right foot around, drop the left shin parallel to the mat, lean over, bring it around to deer with your left shin forward. Now one more time, you're gonna lean to the left, Kick your right foot forward. Bring your left foot up. Now you're here in boat. Release your hands from heart center. Just reach them forward. I'm going to come sideways here so you guys can see what's going on. We're going to come from boat into canoe, right? Everybody's favorite. So your legs extend long. You want to hover your heels over the mat. I'm going to get to a place you can see my heels hovering. And then you're lowering your upper body so your shoulders are hovering over the mat, right? I'm in a really low canoe. You can make yours higher by bringing your legs higher. It's a little bit easier, right? Wherever you are here, bring it back into boat. All right, do that four more times. Lower to canoe, bring it up to boat. Lower to canoe, bring it up to boat. You do your hands if you need to, right? Twice more. Lower it to boat, bring it up to canoe. Or to <laughs> backwards, whatever. One more time, we're going down to a canoe. We're bringing it up to boat. Now you're going to drop your feet to the ground your belly to your thighs, wrap your hands around your shins, tuck your chin to your chest, drive your forehead towards your knees. Just release any tension in your low back, in your hip flexors. All right, what we're going to do from here, when you're ready, we're going to come around onto our belly. All right, as you come to your belly, you're going to let your elbows go out to the sides. So, you're gonna have your hands in front of you, right? Your left elbow's pointing to the left, right elbow points to the right. Just stack your palms on top of each other. So get that wide base for your elbows. Let your forehead come down to the top of your top palm. Now, I'm gonna look up while I'm doing this. I'm not talking into the floor, but you should have your forehead on your palms, right? If you look up and see my head up, that's gonna mean your head should be up. What we're gonna do here, it's called half frog. You're gonna bend into your right knee, right? So I'm gonna turn around here so you guys can see. Bend into your right knee, and you want to pull that right knee up. So keep your foot on the ground. And you're going to pull that right knee up towards your right elbow. So it's here. Right, I'm looking at my head so I can see what I'm, what I'm doing in the camera, and so I can talk, but your head will be down. Okay. It doesn't have to touch the right elbow. Just bring it as high up as you can. Feel this in your right hip flexor. Let me scoot back a little bit so you guys can see me here. Okay. Now, from here, if you want to, right, to add on a little bit, you can kick your right leg more straight. So keep your knee down, right, and just kick it as straight as you can. Maybe that feels a little more intense. Maybe you like it, maybe you don't. You can keep that knee bent if you want. Keep your foot towards, your right foot towards your left foot, or kick that, left, that right foot out to the right. Take four more breaths here. down straight right to your back on your belly with your hands on your palms. I'm gonna flip around here. You guys see where you are. We're gonna go the other way. So now you're bending into your left knee. Bring that left elbow up towards your left shoulder. And again, if it feels okay, maybe then you kick that left leg straight. If it feels better to keep it bent, keep it bent. You want to feel this in the left hip flexor. Amen. 
down back to your belly. Now you're gonna take your hands to your chest here. Push yourself up and back into child pose. Your hips come over your heels. Your arms are out long. Come towards the front here so you can see. And from here, you're going to lift up slightly, right? Lift your elbows up off the mat. Look towards the front of the room. And then from there, you're going to bend. Pull your left hand back a little bit. Bend into your left elbow. Turn your left fingertips towards the right side of the room. And just slide those left fingertips underneath the right armpit. And let yourself sink back down. Your head might not come all the way down. Mine doesn't. Right? But you're really reaching forward with that right arm. Right elbow maybe off the mat. It's like a little thread the needle here, but we're still in child's pose. Take three breaths here. And from there, slide that left arm out from under. Reach that left hand back forward. So again, you're lifting up slightly, looking towards the front of the room. Pull that right hand back. Bend your right elbow, turn your right fingertips towards the left side of the room, and slide that right arm underneath, that right hand underneath the left armpit, and sink back down as much as you can. Take three breaths right there. Slowly unthread that left arm, or sorry, that right arm. <coughs> now we're going to come all the way back up into tabletop. This time as you come to tabletop, let your hips come to one side or the other. You're going to bring your toes up to the very top of your mat, and we're going to lay down to our inversions from here. So take your arms out long, tuck your chin to your chest, round down to your legs on your back. Right, so just like we did at the beginning of class, we're going to come to that bridge here. Your hands are by your sides, palms face down, walk your heels a little closer to your glutes. Press into all four corners of both feet and lift your hips up off the mat. Right, so we're here in this bridge. You're tucking your shoulders way slightly. This time we're going to just hold it, right? We're trying to push your hips as high as you can. You want your chest to puff open. If you want to make this really intense, maybe you can work one entire shoulder, then the other underneath your body and clasp your hands underneath your body. That's just an option. You don't have to do that. All you're going to do is engage your quads, engage your glutes, push the hips as high as you can. That's increasing the flexibility of your back. Take three more breaths here, wherever you are. shoulders just lay it flat. All right now from here we're going to come into our waterfall. You're going to take your feet straight up to the sky. Flex your feet like you're stepping on the ceiling. Hands to your sides, palms face down. This is our basic waterfall. If you want to be right here, be right here. Getting the blood to go through your feet where it pools all day. That's your head and your heart where you need it more. Now if you have a block and you want to put a block underneath your hips, elevate your hips slightly here. You can do that, that makes it slightly more intense. Right? If you want to make it a lot more intense and come to full shoulder stand, that's an option too. That's where you lift your hips on your own. Put your hands to the small of your back. You're supporting yourself on your shoulders and your forearms. So if you do come to shoulder stand, then your feet become kind of half flexed, half pointed, like you're about to slip on a pair of high heels. If you're staying in waterfall, your feet are fully flexed, straight up to the ceiling. Heels right above the hips. Wherever you are, take three more breaths. Are you ready? 
come out of it. Bend your knees. Let me scrape right along your face and body. Slowly drop your feet back down to the mat. All right, we're gonna come to Happy Baby from here. So your feet are gonna go up again, right? This time maybe they don't come right over your hips. They can be angled a little more forward. If you like that, you're gonna separate your feet and maybe it's a big separation, or maybe it's a small separation, up to you. You're gonna bend your knees, maybe a little bit, maybe a lot, that's also up to you. Maybe not at all, maybe you want your legs straight. All good, right? Reach up with your same foot, or with your same hand, for your same foot. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you're grabbing the inside or outside sole of the foot. Maybe you're just grabbing the ankle or the shin or the knee. Wherever you make that connection, it's good, right? But once you've made it, you gotta roll forward so you feel your sacrum, the low part of your back pressing into the mat. Then you can add that rock from side to side. And it should feel good, like a little spinal massage. If it doesn't feel good, you don't have to do it. Change your leg position to either look here, that's always an option too. If you want your legs wider or straighter or broaden more, your hands will slide up or down. Find somewhere where it does feel really delicious. And make your happy baby happy. Give yourself a couple more breaths there. And from here, we're all gonna hug our knees all the way into the chest. We're gonna take our final twist right here. So let your arms go out long like wings in that T position. And then as you exhale, just drop your knees over to the right. Just take your chin and your gaze over your left shoulder. Now, if you want to here, take your right hand, press down on those knees, bring them closer to the earth. If you have enough space, maybe you want to extend your legs. Let your toes go towards your right fingertips. Maybe you just want to stay where you are, right? Wherever you are, keep that left shoulder anchored. That's what's giving you the twist. As you inhale next, you're gonna pull your knees back up to center. And so now as you exhale, you're just dropping the knees over to the left, taking your chin and your gaze to the right. Keeping that right shoulder anchored. And if you wanna deepen in here, take your left hand, press those knees closer to the earth. Maybe extend your legs towards your left fingertips or stay where you are. We always finish off this twist because it seals up our practice. Let our bodies remember what they did today. So next time we can practice, it's all a little easier. We go nowhere a little deeper. So inhaling next here, just pull your knees back up to center. Give them one final hug into your chest. Now we're going to set up for our final pose, our Shavasana. Right? So you can extend your legs long, take your hands by your sides. I'm going to come around. If you have a towel, Salt, do mist sea salt spray. You can always buy it for whatever scent you like at Sprouts. It's not that expensive. Other places too, right? Find, find one that you like that lets you get to that true cloud of mind. Invest in it. Invest in yourself. Invest in your peace of mind, quiet of mind. Right? We talked about at the beginning of class. That's what this whole hour is leading up to. Getting us. your breath anymore let it go completely like we talked about before let that breath begin to be your guide 
he is you at that place, there's nothing left in your mind but you and your breath. Slowly, start to come back into the room. Wiggle your fingers, your toes. Feeling that increase in sensation that comes with a quiet mind. If you want to here, you can take your arms overhead, do a nice full deep body stretch. And from there, let yourself roll over onto your right side in a fetal position. Take a couple breaths right there just to reacclimate to our space. Let the sights and the sounds of the room come back to you. Take as long as you need right here. Then when you're ready, when you're ready, push yourself up to seated. Breathe your toes here. So as you inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Hold them down to heart center. We're going to close with just our two Pumaya breaths and then an O. From our breath, we inhale as we exhale. Make that little humming sound in the back of the throat. And that OM is the universal syllable. It uses all parts of the throat. You can join me in these breaths or you can just listen. Right, let's close our eyes here. We'll inhale together. Hmm. Inhaling. Again. And then we're going to inhale one final time and out. Oh. Get your eyes dripped open. Thank you, all of you, for sharing your energy practice with me this morning. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. All right, I will be back tomorrow morning for some gentle yoga at 10 o'clock, so join me then. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend.